What if I told you there's an AI out there that knows exactly when you're going to cave and buy that overpriced latte? Welcome to the brave new world of AI-powered personal finance, where your spending habits are an open book and your wallet might just be smarter than you are. Buckle up, because your financial future is about to get a whole lot more algorithmic. Hello, my brilliant budget busters and savvy spenders. Theodore here, ready to blow your minds with the latest in AI-powered personal finance. Today, we're diving deep into the digital realm where algorithms are becoming our new financial advisors. We'll explore how these AI apps are promising to fatten our wallets, score us killer deals, and maybe, just maybe, turn us all into mini Warren Buffetts. But don't worry, I'll be here to keep it real and remind you that while AI might be smart, it still can't stop you from buying that third unnecessary gadget this month. Let's unravel this financial future together, shall we? Okay, so are you ready to dive into something kind of cool? Always. This time we're going to be looking at how AI can help you manage your money. Yeah. It can be your, like, your new secret weapon. Ditch the spreadsheets. Exactly. Let the algorithms do all the work. We have all these articles here about these AI-powered apps that are like promising to help us budget, save money, mm -hmm. and even like score really good travel deals. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So we're talking about taking control of our finances in a way that most people haven't even thought of yet. Absolutely. And I think the, the really interesting thing is how these apps go beyond just like tracking your spending. Okay. They actually are analyzing your habits and kind of anticipating your future needs. Okay, so you've got my attention because I'm looking at this one here, Wally. Mm -hmm. Wally. And it claims to do just that it analyzes your spending and then predicts your expenses. Folks, imagine having a crystal ball for your wallet. That's what these AI apps are doing. They're basically financial fortune tellers, minus the dramatic hand-waving and cryptic messages. They're looking at your spending habits and going, yep, Based on your obsession with vintage Star Wars figurines, I predict you'll be broke by next Tuesday. Spooky accurate, right? Yeah. Like, it knows I'm going to buy those extra lattes. That's the one. And what it's doing is it's leveraging predictive analytics, which is something that, you know, used to be this tool that only Wall Street guys used. Right. And now it's, it's about anticipating your future spending and kind of helping you stay ahead. So it's like having... A little person on your shoulder. That's it. A little financial guru that's like, put that latte down. Exactly. And there's a sale coming up. Yeah. Or don't buy that today. Right. Buy it next week and you'll save 10%. Oh my gosh. You know, like it's it's really incredible and it learns as well. Okay. And that's, you know, we talk about machine learning a lot. Right. That's what these apps are doing. Okay. They're using algorithms to learn from your past financial behaviors. Wow and make these surprisingly accurate predictions about what you need and, and what your goals are. Okay, so instead of just tracking where my money went, yeah. Wally's telling me where it's going to go. Exactly. It's about making those smart decisions. You shine me up. And we're just scratching the surface here. Wait, there's more. Is AI going to do my taxes for me too? Well, it's getting close. Oh, my God. You know, QuickBooks, the accounting software, right? they're using AI to help small businesses right? streamline everything. Okay. So we're talking... AI-powered mileage tracking uh -huh. for your tax deductions. Wow. Even cash flow forecasting. So small business owners are going to be pretty happy about this. They are going to be pumped. No more late nights with receipts everywhere. That is a thing of the past, my friend. I love it. But that's the thing, right? Like this automation is more than just convenience. Okay. It actually frees up time and resources so that businesses can actually focus on growth. Okay. So we've covered budgeting and businesses. Mm -hmm. What about travel? Yeah. You know us travel junkies. Of course. Got to find those deals. Are there any AI apps for us? You bet there are. Yeah. Let's talk about Hopper. Okay. So Hopper is an app that uses AI to predict the best time to book your flights. Hold on. On hotels. Instead of me constantly refreshing those travel websites. Yeah, you can just... Hopper's going to tell me. Set it and forget it. Oh, my God. Hopper's on it. Okay. They're analyzing historical data. Wow. They're tracking price fluctuations all to give you an edge. That is amazing. When you're playing that next trip. Oh my God, you've blown my mind. And it doesn't stop there. No. Remember Waze? 
the navigation app. Yeah, it's not just about avoiding those traffic jams anymore. Okay. They're using AI to find the most fuel efficient routes. What? Which means saving money at the pump. Every little bit counts, am I right? Absolutely, <laughs> especially with these gas prices. Don't even get me started. I know, right? Okay, but speaking of, you know, small savings. Yeah. I read about this app, Rocket Money. Okay, <laughs> yeah. And it claims to track down all those pesky subscriptions we forget about. Oh, yeah. And then it cancels them for you. See, now that highlights a crucial aspect of personal finance. Okay. That a lot of people don't think about. What's that? Awareness. Okay. Because we don't even realize how much those recurring payments are adding up. It's like death by a thousand subscriptions. Exactly. Yeah. And AI can help. So Rocket Money swoops in, analyzes your spending, and then gives you back control over your hard-earned cash. That's amazing. Yeah. It's really impressive. It is. But let's be real for a second. Okay. Like, it sounds a little too good to be true. Sure. How does this AI magic actually work? Yeah, it's not magic. Okay. But it's it's pretty close. Okay. These apps thrive on data. Okay. So the more information you feed them, mm -hmm. the better they become at understanding your unique needs. Okay. And providing that really personalized advice. So the key is to be open to sharing our financial data with these apps. It's like a partnership. Okay. You share your financial data and in return, yeah. the AI is going to provide you with those insights yep. and recommendations that can help you make smarter financial decisions. That makes sense. Uh, it's like having a financial advisor that's constantly learning. Right, absolutely. And adapting to you. Your own personal financial advisor. Yeah. But what about investing? You mm. mentioned AI democratizing financial tools earlier. That's right. What exactly does that mean? Yeah. So for a long time, access to sophisticated financial advice mm -hmm. was limited to those who could afford it, right? Yeah. But now platforms like Magnefo okay. are using AI to make personalized investment guidance uh -huh. accessible to everyone. Magnify. Magnify. That name sounds familiar. Yeah. It's a good one. Tell me more. So imagine having this AI assistant that helps you research investments. Okay. Build a diversified portfolio. Okay. And even manage risk. All right, picture this. You've got a tiny Warren Buffett living in your phone, but instead of eating hamburgers and drinking Coke, it's crunching numbers and analyzing market trends 24 7. That's what these AI investment apps are like. They're not just throwing darts at a board of stock symbols, they're using complex algorithms to try and make you rich, or at least less poor. Baby steps, people. Wow. That's what Magnify does. So it's like having a personal stockbroker, but without the expensive fees? There you go. And confusing jargon. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean by democratization. Okay. AI okay. is breaking down those barriers, making investing accessible to everyone, regardless of their income or experience. This is incredible. It is really cool stuff. Wow. AI, personal stockbrokers, who knew? <laughs> this is amazing. So we've covered budgeting travel, even getting into the stock market all with AI lending a helping hand. It's true. It's mind-blowing. Is there anything AI can't do when it comes to my money? Well, you know, it's funny you should ask that because yeah. it really does feel like AI is on the verge of revolutionizing like every aspect of our financial lives. Okay, so what haven't we talked about? What else can these AI apps help us with? So one area that I think is often overlooked, oh. even though it's becoming increasingly really important to people, mm -hmm. is Energy consumption. Energy consumption. You mean like saving money on my energy bill? Exactly. Right. There are AI-powered apps that are specifically designed to help you reduce those energy bills. Okay. Which is a pretty big deal these days, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Tell me more because I'm all about saving money and, <laughs> you know, being nice to the planet. So there's this great app called Grid Rewards. Got and it was created by a company called Logical Buildings. Okay. And they're all about... A sustainability uh, and using technology to kind of fight climate change. So it's not just about saving money. It's about saving the planet, too. Exactly. I like it. And the way Grid Rewards works is it analyzes your energy usage patterns. Okay. And then gives you personalized recommendations on how and when to reduce your consumption during peak times. Peak times. So like when the energy companies charge more. Exactly. But the thing is, okay. reducing your energy usage during those peak times usually only involves making like a few small adjustments for a couple of hours a day. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like having an energy efficient roommate that's like, hey, uh, don't forget to turn off the lights. Exactly. And the best part is not only can you potentially save like a significant amount of money on your energy bill each month, but you're also contributing to a greener future. It's a win-win. Exactly. I'm with you. Win-win. Okay, so we've covered a lot of practical stuff, mm -hmm. but 
You know me, I love a good deal. Of course you do. Especially when it comes to online shopping. Right. Any AI apps for that? Mm, yeah. Asking for a friend? Yeah, asking for a friend. Well, you are in luck. Okay. Because remember PayPal? Of course, who doesn't love PayPal? Right. Easy online checkout. Well, they actually have this app called PayPal Honey. Okay. Which is basically like an AI-powered shopping companion. Okay, PayPal Honey, that's a new one for me. Yeah. What does it do? So it's a browser extension that automatically searches for and applies discount codes at checkout. Wait, are you serious? I am serious. I don't have to spend hours looking for coupon codes anymore. Nope, Honey does all the heavy lifting for you. Oh my gosh. It's constantly scanning for those deals, yeah. discount, so you can shop with confidence knowing you're getting the best possible price. You're kidding me. I am not kidding. I thought I was a savvy online shopper. You are a savvy online shopper. This AI's got me beat. No, you can be no. even savvier. With a little help. With a little help from AI. I love it. And you know those small savings. Yeah. On those online purchases that you love so much really can add up over time. I'm sensing a theme here. What's that? That all these small everyday expenses yeah. that we don't really think about right. can really make a difference in our somewhere. overall finances. It's those small things and that's where AI can really shine. Okay. Because it can help you identify those areas yeah. where you might be overspending mm -hmm. or missing out mm -hmm. on those potential savings. So we've got AI helping us budget invest, find travel deals, shop smarter. We do. And even reduce our environmental impact. Yeah, that's right. It's incredible how much these tools have evolved in such a short amount of time. It is remarkable. And the best part is this is really just the beginning. It is. This is the tip of the iceberg. I'm excited to see what they come up with next. Me too. Welcome back to The Deep Dive. But as much as I love this idea of AI being my personal financial guru, sure. I have to admit I'm a little bit wary okay. of becoming too reliant on technology, mm. especially when it comes to my money. Yeah, that's completely understandable. Right. Because as with any new technology, yeah. there are always going to be concerns and potential drawbacks. It's like I'm ready to just hand over the reins to these AI algorithms and let them do their thing. Right. But then part of me is like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to hold on tight to my money. Well, it's true. It's like we're drawn to the convenience. Right. And like the efficiency of it. Yeah. But we also want to feel in control. Exactly. Yeah. How do we find that balance? That is a very good question. Right. And I don't think there's a one size fits all answer. Okay. But I always think a good place to start is to remember that AI is a tool. Hmm. It's not here to replace us. It's here to assist us. Okay. So we should use it to enhance our own financial literacy. Exactly. Not to like replace it. We don't want to completely outsource our financial brains right, right, right. Yeah. to these apps. Exactly. Um, but the more we understand how these tools work, okay. the better equipped we'll be to use them effectively and responsibly. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now I'm kind of curious. To see some of these AI apps in action, sure. are there any specific examples Absolutely. that you're interested in? Well, we were talking about Clio earlier. Oh, yeah. Our oh. sassy AI chatbot. That's the one. It's like having my financial best friend who's not afraid to tell me what's up. That's right. Clio will tell you. Clio doesn't hold back. Like, it is. Right. But, you know, beyond the banter, yeah. Clio's doing some serious financial analysis behind the scenes. Okay. Tracking your spending, mm -hmm. identifying patterns, and then giving those personalized recommendations uh. that are tailored to your financial goals. So it's really like having a financial advisor in my pocket. It is like having a financial advisor available 24-7. I love it ready to give you advice and keep you on track. And for those who maybe are more visual yeah. when it comes to budgeting. We're visual learners out there. We were talking about Zeta. Oh yeah, Zeta. That's designed for couples and families. Yeah, it's perfect for families or couples. Because it's not about tracking individual spending, it's about getting everyone on the same page. Exactly, and you can even, right. you can create personal and joint accounts, Oh. Yeah. track shared expenses, even pay bills together. Amazing. Simplify. So simplifying is the name of the game because we can't forget about bookkeeping.ai. Yeah, this is a game changer, game changer for small business owners. Because nobody wants to spend hours it's, it's time for that. manually entering receipts like that, and invoices. It's, it's the worst. When an AI can do it for you. With like 95% accuracy. Amazing. It's incredible. So bookkeeping.ai can take care of all that. Yes. And then business owners yeah. can focus on 
doing what they love. What they do best. Right. Whether that's developing new products, serving their customers. Or like taking a vacation. Taking a vacation, exactly. I love it. But really, it is pretty inspiring to see how AI is helping people yeah. and businesses take control of their finances and achieve their goals. Yeah, It's pretty remarkable. And like we've said before, this is really just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I mean, this is like AI 1.0. I know, it's so true. Who knows what the future holds? Mm -hmm. But it's going to be amazing. AI is going to be managing everything for us. Maybe even the podcast. This has been amazing. It has been fun. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into AI. Absolutely. And we'll see you next time. My fiscally fabulous friends, we've journeyed through the AI-powered landscape of personal finance. And I don't know about you, but my wallet is feeling both excited and a little exposed. As we wrap up, remember, while these AI tools might be the financial equivalent of a superhero sidekick, you're still the caped crusader of your own money story. So go forth, embrace the power of AI, but maybe keep a little mystery in your finances. After all, sometimes the most thrilling purchase is the one your AI didn't see coming. Until next time, keep your algorithms sharp and your credit scores sharper. This is Theodore, signing off and heading to confuse my AI by buying something completely out of character. Hmm, maybe a book on the joys of budgeting?